Uh, hello, you guys. Welcome back. It's another another World of Tanks video. Uh, I have a few new toys, and you should be able to, if I do it right, hear the sound in this video, which is essentially going to be a first for any of my World of Tanks content, which is pretty sad. But uh, first, my new toys. Uh, first off, we have the Object 263. Yeah, I'm done with the. Whatever it is, and I think I have like a, I don't even know. My word has gone down a lot in this tank. It's 65 now. It was, it was really, really high before. Um, and you probably just saw right there. The other one, uh, the replay I'm going to be showing you guys today is of this, because I just got this female crew member. So, yep. Yeah. All female crew member now. So, uh, all, they are all female crew members now. So, uh, my rate of fire has, uh, my reload has drastically gone down, and the tank performs quite a bit better. Uh, other new tanks. I think I've already showed you guys this one, S100 Y. Might not have though. It was from the mission, Dialogue Mission. Other tank. Rudy. Yes, eventually it'll load. Um, now I have my Object 430 crew on Rudy right now, and I'm not sure, you guys will have to tell me, uh, if the crewmen that came with i feel like they would be i feel like these crewmen are the uh people who starred in the show uh in in the show four tank men and a dog uh because that's what this tank is from but the main feature of this tank is that the dog barks when you get swatted and if you click on the dog it barks isn't it amazing and you should be able to hear this because i figured out what i need to do to get DX to uh, do stuff as far as sound. Also, for another mission, I got the Tetrarch, uh, which I'm not loving. I played one game and I don't really like it, but you know, whatever. Oh, new message arrived. Um, any other new toys that I have? I don't believe so. Let me just check real quick. Oh, yes, I do. I have one more new toy, and it is this hunk of crap. Uh, the T95E2 uh, Tier 8 special American medium tank. Um, it has a bad turret. I say bad. I mean, it gets pent by everything, so I guess I can't say bad. Uh, not a not good turret. Um, it's not very fast, even though it, it is 56 um, degrees per second first, 15 horses per ton. It would probably, it would be a lot better if I had a not 79% crew in this thing, so yeah, there's that. Um, other than that, it's not a terrible tank. 90mm uh, gun is not bad. It's not great. It's 0.36 accuracy, I feel like that's a lie. Although it might just be because my crew... It is probably just because my crew is not quite up to snuff. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't believe I have any more new toys. No, I do not. I believe I've already shown you this thing. I got this a while ago. Uh, from another mission. <laughs> Only premium tank I've ever bought is... Actually, well, there's, there's three of them. And they're all up here. The FCM, Rudy, and the 3485M. Which is... There it is. Yeah. Which I like. I like this tank. I also like Rudy. Actually, I like Rudy a bit more because the dog barks. That, that, that's actually it. It's the only reason why I like Rudy more. The dog barks. Also, the gun is actually a bit better. Because uh, this S53... Compa let's compare the gun on the Rudy to this gun. And then I will be able to tell you why. Um, so, that gun compared to this gun. Well, yeah, there's the penetration. There's the accuracy. There's the aim time, and there's the damage. And what are they called? 85mm S53. So, great. But anyway, this game that I'm going to show you guys is about the Object 263, which is an open-top vehicle. Uh, and it gets quite a nice gun. S70A, uh, which is quote unquote a modification of the gun on the IS7. I'm going to say it really isn't because let's be honest, it's completely different. Uh, 290 pen with the AP. The, the big thing about this is the fact that it has a two and a half second aim time, which is not terrible. 0.32 accuracy, which is pretty good. 550 average damage, which is actually pretty low for the tier 10 tank destroyers. Until you look at the fact that it has a 9.12 second reload. Which is, um, 
which is nice. Uh, in related news, it has a 17.34 horsepower per ton, uh, 3,084 DPM, which is very nice. Uh, 270 deep, uh, penetration with AP, I believe. No, 290. 290 millimeters penetration with AP, which is highest penetration of any, any tank that I have, I believe. So, anyway, enough of this. Let's move on to the replay. So here's the replay, guys. It is an Amstrad 263 game on Cliff. 50% chance to win. They have a very good Borsig player. Uh, using a platoon with a pretty good Borsig. They have a very good ISU player. And they have a quite good Rymatel Borsig player. Uh, and here we are in the game. In the Object 263. At this point, I did have a inferior crew to the one that I now have. This is the game that had got me heavy, sorry, Tank Destroyer, Mission 15, with um, 5,000 damage for the T-55A. So, I do carry two APCR rounds on this tank, and there's one reason why I do that, and the reason why is because otherwise I would not be able to have 35, 5, and 2. If I put those two rounds here, it would make it uneven, and if I put them here, it would make it uneven, and I don't want to carry more than two, so, yeah, that's why I have that. Uh, again, 290 millimeters of penetration with this armor piercing. Very good. 330 with APCR, so not a drastic increase. Not, it's, it's not like it's bad penetration, though. And then, I believe, 75, 75 with the HE. Now, it is an open topped tank, and I will be pointing out the weak spots of the open topped tank whence I get shot at. I'm just trying to move into position. I uh, hopefully cover the 1 2 line. And. I will just say one thing, and that is that I always try to cover my lower plate. That doesn't mean I'm very good at it. <laughs> doesn't mean I'm very good at it at all. So I'm just moving over here, I'm going to try to shoot anything that happens to come in front of me. Uh, one thing that I have noticed about this tank is the fact that uh, the shells do drop quite dramatically. Uh, there's When you fire the shell, it goes up pretty far in the air considering it is a anti-tank gun. So, yeah. Uh, this tank is pretty much based off of the artillery, which is based off of the IS-7. But, this tank gets, as you can see, 250 millimeters of armor on the front, which is very good. I'm looking for a shot in this 5481, and I don't think I have one. Uh, nope. No, I, do, I, I think I get one shot off on this guy, but I'm not sure other than that. I, yeah, so I can see... Kind, I can, partially see him, but there's not not much of him. No, I do not get a shot off on this guy. Right, okay. <laughs> Just remembering the, the events of the game. So I'm going to move up, because he's all that we've spotted, so I can be relatively confident that uh, I'm not going to be shot in the side. And this thing does a pretty decent camo. As you can see, I do use uh, binos and um, camo net on this tank. Uh, they aren't really needed, but well, I don't know what else to put on it. The aim time is... I, I guess I might put a uh, enhanced uh, gun line drive on it. Instead of maybe a camo net. Because now I have a full camo crew, I believe. Or just about. So I'm going to pull up here. And hopefully get some nice shots off on these tanks. Now there's an Object 140 who I don't... I was trying to get a shot off on him. I'm going to pour a shot in the back of that Type 61. And now I'm going to hopefully angle, hopefully evade... Avoid taking fire from that Object 140. He bounces off of me, thankfully. Uh, and I reload just in not enough time. There's a Type 61 up there that I would love to get some shots on. But uh, the problem is I, w I also really want to get shots on that um, Object 140. And there's that AMX-30 who's moving over. So. Yeah. I just noticed it now. Sadly. Um, as far as the microphone volume, I apologize if it's a bit too low or if it's a bit too high. It's very hard to detune it correctly because, uh, well, I just used the microphone on my laptop, which is crap. So, yeah. So this tank is pretty mobile. Uh, again, it's, what, 17 horsepower per ton? So it's definitely got uh, the grunt. It just seems to have relatively poor um, uh, terrain resistance. So I'm going to move forward here, and again, 290 millimeters penetration is easily enough to go through the front of an E100 turret, and if he's giving me this turret at that angle, I'm just going to be able to derp right through it. Uh, so, <laughs> that's another thing I'm not very used to, is the fact that on this tank, 
Let's just pause that here. Uh, I believe, actually, what happened there is I think the object 140 hit me here. And then he hit me here. And I don't know what hit right here. This may have actually been the object 140, or it might have been a ricochet from one of the other tanks. Uh, from like the hull or something. I don't know. Uh, perhaps. It actually, you know, <laughs> might have happened. This might have gone like this, then bounced off of here, and then hit the top. But uh, generally on this tank, that's the weak spot. You're going to want to aim for the gun mount, because if you look at it, all of that is, I think, it, it's very, very little armor. And, all of this is 250 millimeters at a very good slope. This is also 250 millimeters, but there's nothing behind it. And, yeah. Yeah. T-49s, there's gaps. There's gaps. There's a hole here, but I don't believe that counts. Uh, and then there's also the roadplay. Anyway, I got a relatively lucky bounce. I That one probably went off right, right there. I'm just going to aim that E100. Sadly, he turns his turret a bit, and I nick the side of his turret, so I don't quite get a nice shot off. And this FV-215B is kind enough just to sit there while I'm going to pump a completely 100% average roll into his side. And there's another bounce. Let's see where that hit. Um... No idea. Uh, by the way, 250, 250, 250, 80. And I believe 50 or 45. So the side armor is quite bad. And when you look at the side armor, that's all ammunition. So, yeah. Uh, gun mount does get shot on this tank a lot. And there's the first pen right into the lower plate. Uh, yeah, gun mount does get shot a lot in this tank because that is the primary weak spot. And, well. I mean, gun mount, that's where the gun is, so, yeah. So I, I would recommend armor on this tank, perhaps. I, I think that would be a, a very, uh, not necessarily necessary skill, but a good skill to have. I tried taking a snapshot there, luckily he aims for someone else, I'm just gonna be able to sit here and aim for a little bit. He does actually reload before me, but... He does treat me, and then I actually managed to bounce off him, somehow. Uh, I guess I must have just kind of derped on his tracks. So yeah, that T44, I'm looking for a shot on him. There's, there's one right there, but I can't quite get it, and... I believe he's going to pull forward before I can get a shot off on him, so I'm going to move up here. And this E100 is making it so I don't have to shoot anyone else. Just put a shot right there. His turret, he misses his return shot, which means I can just casually... I know I have faster reload than E100. I can just poke up over here. I believe the T4... Does the T44? No. Right through his tracks for the E100. FB215B puts a shot through my tracks. I repair it because I don't have a repair screw. Uh, skill on this crew, even. Uh, and I keep getting... I, I'm seeing the outline for this guy, and there he is, and I don't take the shot, and I know he's going to pop up there, and I get the anorak, which gets me the mission. Uh, so, yeah. That Type 61 shoots me, I believe. I have no idea, actually. But, um, it... Hard to tell. Hard to tell. I feel like it went through the gun mantlet, maybe? But I don't know. So there's only one penetration on the on there. There... It, he might have... Oh, I honestly have no idea. Oh, um... Is it... He could have... Because I just turned. It's entirely possible he uh, managed to plant a shot to my side. Uh, although that might be an earlier penetration marker. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, there's that FE. And I can just put a shot right into the side of his turret. That uh, 1061 is up there, and there's another shot that he just took at me. Uh, 1390, I believe, is also up there. And I'm at 4662 damage, and I'm real I, just, I realize at this moment that if I get one more shot off, bam, there it is, 5000 damage, there's a mission. I don't have to do any more damage this entire game, and let's see where that one went in. Uh, and I will get the mission. I, I have no idea where this guy is shooting me. Um, it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> uh, wait, is that it right there? I think that's it. I don't know if that's from earlier, but as you can see, right through there. So, um, there's that 150mm slab. Here's a gun mallet. That's like, I, I want to say that's like 50 or 30. I, that can't be very thick. I mean, even if you look at it, it's, it's very thin armor. 
Uh, from where he is, he could probably shoot into my tank, like right here. And if he shoots HE in there, it's pretty much guaranteed to be full damage, because that it's an open top vehicle. So. Anyway, it looks like this FV is going to pull around, and I, I'm not very familiar with the alpha damage of this guy. I don't think he one-shot me. <coughs> Sorry about that. But I'm not entirely sure how high he can roll. And even if he doesn't one-shot me, it's entirely possible that Type 61 on the hill could. So yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I need a drink. I need a drink. So he's not poking up now. And, well... There goes A75. If I don't move here, I'm not going to get any more damage in. And damage is fun. So, I'm moving up. I'm going to take it slowly. I'm going to move into over here so I can hopefully proxy spot him before I have to go around the corner. I'm now going to go around the corner, hope the Type 61 doesn't end up shooting me. I'm not spotted. I'm going to aim up there in case I am spotted, uh, just so that he thinks he's been seen. Potentially, he doesn't have six cents. Um, again, still not spotted. So, yeah. And the FCM spots a 1215B, puts a shot into him, I believe. I auto aim, I have to back up for the gun depression, and shot to the side. He wasn't moving, so auto aim was fine there. It just kind of made it a little bit easier. And at AMX 30s, I'm 594 health, I'm looking for a shot at him, there it is. And bingo. I roll on that for 5997 damage, uh, and that is, spoiler alert, all the damage I'm going to get this game. Uh, Look up on the hill, there's Type 61, I've been spotted now, and a quickie baby's ugly mug, no offense, uh, just popped up. I'm going to aim this fully, but no, the yeah, Panzer takes a shot before I do. And therefore, Shaw gets there first. So, I'm just gonna look, go down where this, uh, 39 was last spotted, but he's not there anymore. So, the SEM's just going to dive on him, and he's, he's dead. So, yeah. I'm just going to sit here, and that's Type 60, Type 63. There you go. That's the Object 263. Um, so, yeah. Uh, just quick overview again. Uh, pretty accurate gun. Point through two is definitely not bad. But uh, because uh, the aiming time is a little... Well, the aim time really isn't that bad. Aim time is not terribly long, but... um. Uh, I don't know if I hit that X and it's going to, uh, whatever. Anytime's not that bad, but, uh, if you don't aim it all the way, a lot of times what will happen, and even if it's just, like, a very narrow shot on someone, uh, because of the velocity of the gun, or rather the dip of the shell, uh, a lot of times you will end up going over the tank you're shooting at. Uh, I found that to be an issue. Uh, very, very high amount of DPM. Um, the armor on it is very nice, as long as you can cover up your lower plate and hope they don't shoot your gun mantlet, or around your gun mantlet. Uh, that is pretty much penetrable. I, f I think that's penetrable by very low tier tanks. Um, if people get behind you, you're screwed. Because <laughs> the back armor is very poor. Well, you know, it's a TD. If the <laughs> back armor wasn't terribly poor, it would not be very balanced, I would have. Uh, yeah, if someone gets behind you. If you get behind it, spam HE, because you will do full damage every time with almost any tank. Um. Uh, if you have even a sliver of the sides, shoot it. It's only 80 millimeters thick, very thin sides. And let's take a look at battle results. Uh, hey guys, this is the recording. This is technically the set of uh, the recording. These are the results from the game. Uh, this is actually several hours after I've recorded. Uh, I recorded everything, and then I realized I wasn't recording the sound from my microphone, so woohoo for me. Anyway, 46,102 credits, uh, 1030 experience, high caliber, tank sniper, which is, I don't have too many of those, a uh, bunch of damage, <laughs> second class master badge, fighter, uh, demolition expert, let's see if I can name these, spotter, um, duelist, yes, fire for effect, and bruiser. Uh, right, so team score, I was second on the team by experience, I believe, yep, second on the team by experience, top by damage. Uh, actually, today, I just had a 6,300 damage game, so I have beaten this result. Um, uh, 11 grand, nearly 12 grand made, again, 10,000, 10,000, 1,000, 1030 experience made, 1030 experience made. Uh, 2186 damage from more than 300 meters. 59.97 total, uh, 13.70 black by armor, 11.28 due to assistance, which ended up being enough for the spotter medal. So yeah. So yeah. Anyway, guys, 
thank you all so much for watching. Uh, standard outro applies. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike. Please tell me why. Feedback so much appreciated. Yada, yada, yada. If you want to, subscribe. And I hope you all have a very nice day.